Auto Shepard goes behind the scenes at Sector 111. Aerial Adams and Lotuses and the VAC Monos are superb cars because of how lightweight they are. There's a lot of benefits to lightweight sports cars. When you take weight out of a car, it helps acceleration, it helps braking, it helps handling. So it helps effectively all performance aspects of a sports car. So I want to take you on a quick tour of a side of a, an atom that most people have never seen and that's the bottom side. We have a rolling chassis here uh, that we got from the factory that we'll be installing an engine in but uh, from this perspective you can see what the bottom of the car looks like. Um, you've got the hard lines for the coolant um, hoses with the radiator up front. Um, as you know the car has got wishbone suspension where it's attached to the tubular chassis. You've got the fiberglass tub that's underneath the seats. A shifter mechanism that you can see that's exposed underneath there as well. The gas tank is located right here, kind of trapezoidal in shape. You can take a peek in here and see we've got a, a completely empty engine compartment. See they come in without the engine, transmission, and ECU, but you do get a muffler and suspension. And since the Atom is a rolling chassis, you literally can push this car around. The suspension, everything is attached to the car, so you can move the car around quite conveniently even though it does not have an engine in it, uh, which is different from typical formula cars where the powertrain is probably a stressed member and rear suspension actually hangs off of it. This is a K20A motor along with the supercharged, the 300 horsepower version. You can see we've got everything assembled here. Transmissions on the engine as well. Maintenance on the atoms are pretty easy. Um, a lot of these body panels are actually attached by these quarter turn fasteners that just pop off. And then you literally can remove the body panels. Um, the coolant reservoir happens to be here. Um, oil is added here. The dipstick is right over here. Um, under the snorkel is the air filter, which you do need to take out and clean on occasion. You have these inboard suspension, which is bell crank and push rod actuated. So you're able to take the, the mass or weight of these, uh, the suspension component here, the shock and spring, and take it out of the unsprung portion of the, 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 the mass here. Um, these are a single adjustable shock. Um, again, you've got rebound and compression adjusted right here with this clicker, which you can easily change by hand. Underneath here, you can actually see the pedal box for the clutch and the dual master cylinder brake system on this car. The Atom does not have ABS um, and it has no servo assist, so you can adjust bias front to rear for the brakes, actually literally with the, the bias bar that's here in the pedal um, assembly. So like I mentioned before, the body panels are all attached to these quarter turn fasteners. So you just pop those off, the front slides off, and off comes the bonnet. So inside here, you basically have your battery, you got your fuses and relays, um, a small little uh, space here. I've got my owner's manual inside there. Um, you can't fit a six pack of beer in there though. This car has the aluminum radiator, which is good for the, the hot climates and track day use. Um, I also have the tro hook package, which also has this sub this the subframe that allows you to add a front wing. It's got the provisions so you can add a front wing to the car pretty easily. You can really hear the intake and uh, scream right on the side of your head. The seat belts are typical race you know type belts with a cam. They clip in. To release, you basically just turn the cam and everything pops loose. So easy in, easy out. This car has the windshield option that's quite nice if you're driving on the street. Um, you can drive the car around without a helmet. It actually has a wiper and a washer as well. Integrated very, very well with the, the styling of the car. 
The ignition on is this switch right here. Push to start is this button right here. The lights for your headlights are controlled with this switch here. This is actually a rain light in the back of the car. Your emergency flasher here. Optional brake bias knob so that you can adjust bias. This is the horn. And this is actually the turn signal. The steering wheel that's fitted to this car has got the shift lights you know, built into the top. Welcome to our workshop here at Sector 111. This Lotus Elise came in about a week ago, less than a week ago. It had a blown motor. So the guys have completely torn the car apart. You can see what Arizona dust can do to a car. It's, this is probably one of the dirtiest Lotus Elises we've ever seen. <coughs> Excuse me, the, the, the client actually lived on a dirt road for part of this car's life, so that's part of the reason. But it's getting a, a rebuilt engine from us. One of the most innovative features on the Lotus Elise and Exige is an aluminum chassis that weighs about 150 pounds. But to that chassis is a steel subframe that's bolted on and you can see it right here. This whole section is all a steel subframe and it's effectively an engine cradle. Uh, but we've removed the clams front and rear. Uh, there's a little bit of body work to be done on that so that's being done now. Um, the guys have already taken care of a few of the things on the front of the car. He's getting a new triple pass um, all aluminum radiator, new um, silicon hoses, the wishbones, we pushed out all the, the, the stock bushes and put in spherical bearings. We've got um, single adjustable race shocks on here from Nitron. Uh, we've got our steering arms. We also have a quicker ratio steering rack. Uh, the client had previously put our two-piece uh, front rotors on the car which save a, a bunch of unsprung weight. Um, we just actually installed the bullet studs as well. It's going to get our Katana 2 supercharger and it's really, really going to be a quick, really good car uh, when we're done with it. Sector 111 spends a lot of time on the track with both Lotuses and Aerial Adams. Their passion for racing extends across the country. They have participated in countless track events. However, we wanted to see the Adam perform in a slightly different environment. Just because you're using the Adam on the street doesn't mean it requires any less than your full attention. As our cameraman found out, Once he regained his composure, we took the Atom somewhere else. To a good old fashioned American drive through. Just in case Jeremy Clarkson was watching. It's easy to see how little car you actually need when you see an Atom sandwiched between two supersized SUVs. It'd take roughly 3,000 pounds of food to equal the weight of one of those behemoths. And just think of the fun they're missing. For your next car mod, add some lightness. 